Okay, can you hear me now? Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, noob streamer mistake. Sorry about that. Just uh, forgot to unmute myself. Um, so yes, as I was saying, um, getting back into building the the um, one thirtieth scale, uh, one three fiftieth scale Congo, um, building some more of the parts for the the deck. Um, that's going to be the uh, this here, the the trolley or the cradle. Uh, we can show it on here. There it is. That's the cradle, uh, and that will sit on top of the trolley, which goes onto the flight deck. And the flight deck is uh, this part of the ship, and that is about here between the the two aft main aft main guns. So let's get started, and we're starting with piece six eighteen. Let me just put my own music on. Uh, feel free to listen to your own music tonight. I'm not going to be streaming any music. Um, so you can choose whatever you like to listen to while I while I stream or while you're watching. But I'll be listening to my own on my headphones. So, 6.18, there we go. Alright, make sure that's all good. You can see that. I might move the light forward a little bit more so that when I lean in you can still see it. Um, welcome, by the way, Dominator. Haven't... Not sure if I've seen you in here before, but uh, hope you enjoy your time. All right, six eighteen. Always got to put my finger on it, make sure it doesn't fly off, because it can do that. All right, uh, there's my file. Let's uh, check if it's got any burrs. It's a little one there. Everywhere else seems pretty good. Maybe a little bit on these two sides. <laughs> All right. Now, which side is up? That looks fairly flat. Oh no, there's some rivet marks on that piece there. I'm not sure if you can see it in the, in the stream, can you? Yes, it's in focus, good. So that means I'll be folding those bits up, which so I'll fold it from the other side. All right. I think uh, this one will fit with the file again, so I can just hold this down in the middle there. Yep, that should be good. Mikami, hello, welcome back. Good to see you again. <laughs> Ever reliable. It's great to have your company once more. Um, just audio check, by the way. How does the audio level sound? Is it too loud when I'm putting my face down here? I've got the mic a, a little lower today. Um, I was clipping a little bit last time. And uh, I want to make sure I'm not doing that again today. Uh, squeeze that in a little bit because there's quite a gap just here okay I think that's good maybe a little too much there now it's tricky to hold these delicate parts without accidentally breaking them all right now we'll fold at the front of the cradle so this is what the aircraft actually sit on you can see that little shape that goes in there that's sort of the the keel of the hull on the flying boat that fits in that little slot okay time for some ultra thin I hope I can remember where I put it this time. Alright, there we go. And how does that look? That's alright, just needs to open up the, uh, the prongs a little bit. Excellent. Audio is good, good to hear, thank you. 
Alright, I'm going to do the back pieces first, because they look like they're already bent into the right position. Oh, I opened that up a little bit too much. If it's too far apart, it breaks the surface tension holding the glue in place. There we go. And on this side, yep, there we go. Oh, just glued it to the table. Got to be careful I don't put too much force on this or it could bend the part. Okay, I think that's got it. Did I pick up any of the table? I did a little bit. Let's um, just scrape that off. Oh, that's bent in a little bit. I'll bend that out while I can see it. Um, that is what worries me about putting anything to scale. The parts are too small for my liking and I worry that I'll screw it up. Yes, that is true, but in your favor because the parts are so small you can screw up a lot and it's not really too noticeable all right let's flip it over oh Aki he's bothering me again I fed him just before the stream and obviously not enough for him I guess it wouldn't be a stream without Aki making an appearance All right, so that's the... Oh, I've got to glue the front of that yet still. All right, just push it down and bend that in as much as I can. Yep, that looks pretty good. What sort of models have you built before, Ukami, or have you not done any yet? I'd be curious to know. Excellent, just a tiny little bit, but that's all we need. All right, that's the base cable done. Well, Aki always arrives exactly when he wants to, yes, and he always wants food, so he's always around. <laughs> All right, so we now need parts 617. I think this just goes down the middle there. I can see it there. So that little hook at the back goes up and you've got one, two, three tiny little tabs that go in the one, two, three little holes there. All right. 617. There should be two of them though, because there's two carts. Where's the other one? Oh, there it is. Okay, we'll get this one first. Just to remind you of the size of these things. <laughs> okay, clean off those burrs. Wrong end of the, of the file, that would help. And the other end. Alright. Um, some Valkyries. Ah, oh, fantastic. VF1s, VF19, Kai Excalibur. Used to have a few fighter planes, so F14, A10A, Eagles Falcons on 72nd and 144th scale. Have to build Mulane's VF11 one day. That's awesome. I'd love to see them. Um, send me a message on Facebook, and I'd love to see some of the posts, or some of the the, um, the models that you've built. If you've got any photos you want to share, okay. So this piece, because I'm just going to be touching it down, it's going to be hard to hold it in place um, to put in the super thin. So with the super thin, when it's folded, the two edges that I want to glue are close to each other but not so for this piece. It sort of sits by itself, so I'm gonna use some gel super glue for that. Just a tiny, tiny bit. And what's what's the best way to do it? Should I put it on the cradle or on the brace? I think I'll put it in the cradle. Now where to hold it? 
maybe like that. Alright, put a little dab on my needle applicator. Just the tiniest amount of glue is all it needs. It's on the wrong part of the needle though. Put it on the tip. Um, if you're interested in shipbuilding, it certainly doesn't have to be as intense as this. I've just, I'm a huge sucker for the, the detail that you get with these upgrade kits with the brass parts. So, if you prefer, you can simply, oops, almost put that on upside down. You can simply build the plastic kits as they come out of the box without doing any of the upgrades. And that, that's much more uh, accessible, I would say. Doesn't seem to want to fit in those holes. Oh, no, I think that's got it. That's all right. If it's wrong, it'll just mean the plane will sit a little bit high. But on this scale, you're really not going to see it. Um, one of the Macross planes I really wanted to build was um, Max's Sturmvogel. I love the Sturmvogels, the, the VF-22s. Yep, stuck it to the table again, but that's okay. Well, not really to a table, to the mat. Scrape off that little bit on the bottom. I think that's about as much as I'll get off. Let's just get rid of the little bits of glue that shaved off. There we go. All right, so we've got the cradle now. Let's build the trolley that goes under it. Uh, I think I'll put that... Um, I won't put it in the little tub that I used just yet because I'm going to be gluing them together. Um, one second. Right. So we've got parts six one six, six one nine. So that will end up looking like this with these two pieces, this piece joined. So, uh, this one folds into that. These are instructions aren't really in linear order. This one folds into that, but you're just seeing the same thing from three different angles here. And actually, that's the same photo as this, or very similar. Okay. So the piece with the cross goes facing up underneath. All right, so two parts, 616 and 619. So, 616. This is a relatively large part. I mean, look, it's bigger than my fingernail. <laughs> Some nice detail on this, though. On the plastic, this would be one solid lump of plastic with a bit of ribbing on one side of it, really, that's all. Alright, so that looks like the top because this little piece and this little piece here, they look like they've got this slightly raised. So that detail goes on the outside. Now this becomes a box, but this is tricky. These fold up into that angle and this bit here folds flat into there. So I've got to bend this outwards and then bend this up. Now, do I do that before or after I bend these up? I think I'll do it before because it's a very, very fiddly piece, that end that I need to bend. Um, so I want to bend that 
<laughs> when I've got the most access. One of the problems with brass is that it's, it bends easily, which means that if you bend it too many times, then it can break. Oh, hang on, am I doing this right? No, it's got to go down. It's resisting me because the seam is on this side. Can you just see that there? Yeah. This line across here is on this side, which means I need to bend it down. I might actually use, ooh, I've bent that a couple of times. I might use one of my um, specialist tools. It's a bending tool. It lets you hold things steady and flat while you're bending them. So I just push this piece in. Oh, now I'm going to remember, I've got to bend it outwards, so I'm going to turn it upside down move it into it's on oop, too far so it's on the edge here and then tighten that down and then I can get my um, scalpel underneath that and lift it Come on. Okay, that's good. Uh, Stern vocals are good. I would have to get two so you can have Maximilius. Yeah, that's true. Um, I might even consider just getting the uh, production version. Now, this is tricky. If I put this under here and flatten it, it'll flatten that. So I'm going to do it on the side here. Um, I used to run a tabletop role-playing game set in the uh, Macross Frontier universe and um, a couple of the players had Sternvogels as their aircraft. So I'm not... I love Maximilia, but I'm not sort of particularly attached to... Oh, I've bent them the wrong way. It's got to go up and then out. So if I fold this up and that up, that's going to be pushing in. Damn it. Um, yeah, I'm not particularly attached to their stern vocals. I hope bending these back the other way is not going to break them off. <clears throat> Takes a lot of three-dimensional thinking to do this. Come on. piece is folding up and down a lot okay take two am I still doing that in view yes good Okay, that should be enough of a bend. And it's stayed on, which is great. Swap it around. There we go. Alright, so now I think I will fold up the side. And I'll fold up the other side, but I won't fold over the top until I've glued it because... Oh! Uh, it's almost going to fall off. Um, yeah, if I fold it up straight away, I'm going to lose access to the inside to put on glue. Uh, where'd the file go? 
things are so easy to, to lose here. <laughs> it was right alongside the uh, the mat. This file has proven very handy for these sort of bends. Okay. Oh, what? I did it wrong again. Well, I was right the first time. So when this folds up, that's going to be going inside it. Okay. Yep, yeah, I definitely need to fold those down. Oh boy. I can just push that down a bit like that. The VF-131s are also good. Unfortunately, uses Canon Folder and Macro 7. Yeah, they were um, fantastic in Frontier. Um, the Lightnings, aren't they? Uh, scratch that. It must have been the V11s with Canon Folder. Macross Compendium is saying the VF-171s uh, are the Frontier. Yeah, that's right. They are... Um, the 171s were Diamond Force, I think it was. Um, the sort of the elite nuns fighters but not the private ones or not the the ones that um sound force what they called we're using oh this is tricky how do i bend this without bending the end the middle piece okay that's got it um how about I split the difference? The V17s with Canon and Fodder, and I need to rewatch. <laughs> Always a good excuse to watch, rewatch uh, Macross. Yeah, I do like the uh, the 171 Lightnings uh, in Frontier. They, I wouldn't. I mean, they were kind of Canon fo Canon Fodder in that series, but they were a very capable main main forces um, fighter. Variable fighter. Jeez, I've burnt these pieces so many times, I'm afraid it's going to fall off any moment. I right, can finally bend these parts up. There we go. And the other side. Oh, I'm doing this out of view, sorry. There we go. Now to put some glue on those before they fall apart. Just opening the lid a little bit so I can get into it. Um, I found a source. Uh, Soundforce had a VF19 Kai Buster. Yep. VF11 Milane. Oh, that was what hers was. <laughs> it was a heavily modified one. I always thought it was silly that they had to make it look like a, a girl robot. Uh, and Ray had a VF-17T. I don't remember the 17s. I do remember Ray's was a two-seater. All right, let's get some super thin on there. Okay. Definitely enough glue there, maybe too much, but it's on the inside, so hopefully it won't show. Yep, that's good. It's not quite in enough. That'll do. Angles are tricky on this. Okay, that's got some glue on there. Just this corner to do. Okay. 
okay, they've got enough glue on there. Get rid of the excess, and now we'll fold over the top. Ooh, that piece is pushing in. Maybe there wasn't enough glue on there. All right, let's put some on the outside. Yeah, there's a nice little hole there for it. Yeah, you got a little bit of excess glue there. You can hopefully you can see that. But it's not clogging up any holes, so it should cover okay with paint. A little bit more on this side too, I think. Okay, hopefully that'll hold that in, in place enough that I can bend over the other piece without mis um, misshaping it, misforming it. Actually, why don't I just leave it lying down and then just push it from here. Okay, that looks good. Alright, now to put some glue in there. Might actually be easy with my finger in this case. Looks like uh, this side is pushed in a little. Uh, it's good enough. I might just put a little dab of thick in there to try and hold it closed enough to put the super thin in. Because the super thin works with capillary action and if there's not a gap that it can fill, it won't flow. be a bit much there covering up those holes um, where are my drill bits so I've got these tiny drills that might be small enough to fit in those holes look at the, the thickness of that a little bit too thick this drill oh well never mind I'll make sure that that side's mounted inwards so it's not the side that you can see all right so now we make the base of the trolley which is piece 619 619 here we go you can see the little sled there that's the thing that actually rides on the rails <laughs> they've even got the tiny little wheels you see those oh, okay the wheels fold over on themselves to become thicker and everything else folds down. In that case, given its size, I think I'll use the bender. Um, and I might use the tools that are on the other side. So one of these I think will be the right size for that. Sorry about that instant message notification. Got to position it just right. Alright. 
Let's bend those up. Still in the center, yep, good. Uh, I think I need the testing, testing, okay. The battery ran out on the receiver for the lav mic. Everything's going wrong tonight. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know though. Um, I was just saying that I think I might be able to salvage this. It's looking a little bit beaten up, but I'll just put it somewhere where it's not obvious. Okay, so filling that gap with a little super thin. There we go, and I think, yep, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I'll just try and bend that bottom bit up a bit, there we go, and now I can glue that together. Oh, it's folding back down again. It's like microsurgery. We can rebuild it. There we go. Now the sides or the ends perhaps. Let's put that. That's good. Okay, sailors had a training mishap. Maybe a hundred push-ups will teach them. Yeah, the admiral's not doing that. <laughs> I wouldn't manage two, I don't think. All right. I think we've managed to save it. That side's looking pretty rough, but this side, facing you, is not too bad. All right. This time I'm putting the um, the glue on this side. Okay. It's not too bad. Cat hair's still there. I would leave the cat hair, but when I spray it, the paint really sticks to cat hair. Makes it look really thick. Ends up looking like an eyelash or something. Oh, come on. This tweezer's not gripping.
Where is this tweezer actually making contact? Ah, oh, there we go, got it. All right. Well, that took only, what, half an hour, three quarters of an hour to make, oh, I suppose we had the, um, the cradle. All right, now we put the cradle on the trolley. Now, is there a front or a back? Looks pretty symmetrical to me. So this is just going to drop on. On there. Okay. And I'm wondering if this mat is the best surface to do this on for the stream because it's a, it's a bit textured. <laughs> all the little bits of glue on it and it makes what I'm working on a little bit harder to see I think anyway it is what it is for now it's gluing time And then you glue it all over the place. <laughs> all right, that's uh, not a bad result from what could have been a disaster. Let's try putting um, a piece of paper under it so you can maybe see it a little easier. go now to do another one of those this time surely gonna go a bit more smoothly I'm gonna need another little plastic or a little paper cup soon otherwise I'm gonna have too many pieces in there all right should go a bit fast this time since I've already done it once I know what I'm doing but I'm not gonna speed run it because when you rush is when you screw things up and besides it's the making of the thing that's the biggest part of the enjoyment of this hobby First bit folded. Let's just squeeze those two corners in a little bit more before I fold up the front. Alright, that looks good. I prefer these um, bent tweezers. I feel like I don't have to bend my wrists quite so much when I'm using them. Quite delicate, this little piece at the front here. It almost looks like a butterfly wing. Alright, I'm going to have to hold that together while I glue those. Hold it in. Don't hold it strong enough to hold it, but not so strong that it bends it or pops out. 
That's it's a bit of a trick to it. I'm listening to the weirdest track right now. It's a, uh, a jazz cover of Cruel Angel Thesis from Neon Genesis Evangelion. Never heard that before. It's kind of cool. Just come up in my uh, random suggestions. There we go. All right, that was a little easier. Six one seven. I don't think there's any burrs on that piece. Yes, I hear you, Arky. You're going to have to wait a little bit longer. That should be enough glue. Excellent, that went in quite well. Alright, that's the uh, trolley, not the trolley, the cradle done. That was faster than the first time. Now it's 619 is the trolley itself. This is definitely going easier than the first time. Bending them up. Okay, there's our second trolley done. Double 
glue in the corners. Two parts of three done. Now we've got the tr um, the trolley body. This is the part that I struggled with last time. Hopefully this time I won't drop it and step on it again. <laughs> good so let's just double check this folds up and that goes is it down or up I'm looking at it upside down it's down yep Uh, which means I need to flip it over. Sorry, I keep forgetting to move things on camera. There we go. Spin it around. Um, might do it here so I don't flatten the piece I just bent. Doesn't need to go 90, I've bent that a bit too far. Alright, that should be good. Alright, up you go. And you. And then these. And now it's glue time. Sorry about that. I'll mute that in a second. Okay, going much better. Let me 
just mute that on Facebook. Alright. Now to bend over the top piece. Excellent. Trying to get rid of the rid of a bit of the excess. Might have to shave that off or scrape it off. Uh, yep, that's coming off. Okay, it's not perfect, but uh, it's better than the last one. All right, now to bring those two together. Flip over. There we go. Oh, I've lost the camera again. Oh, that's a shame. Um, definitely need to get a, uh, a AC adapter for that one. All right, so, okay, the one aircraft carrier that I've been on, I will have to make out of a Kitty Hawk class supercarrier. Nice. Forgot to mention, in Elite Dangerous, I had a mission to VY Canis Majoris. In the game, it was almost a 300 jump around trip. Started at 10.30 a.m. and finished at 4.30 a.m. Holy moly. <laughs> Why would you go that far? What, what's out there that's so special? Just cleaning off the excess glue that wouldn't burn. that holding yes all right and finally they put the carriage on which goes there so a little glue a little much okay that looks about right excellent so we now have two and I think uh, one's definitely better than the other <laughs> 
so there you go you can compare now so yeah those only took an hour <laughs> yeah. still they look good don't they far more detail than anything you get in the plastic I could find the plastic part to show you to compare it compare but um, there's a lot of pieces to go through to look for it so I won't um, the passenger wanted to see something and took an age to find it. You have to be in exactly the right place to find it. In real space, it's around 4,000 light years from the sun. Wow. Well, I guess it's a lot faster than it would have been if you were doing it in the real world. <laughs> <coughs> All right. I'm done with those pieces now. I think I'm only going to do two because I don't really think that having three planes on the deck would add to it any more than two. It would just probably end up making it a little bit too visually confusing. All right, so what can we do next? So we've done those now. A lot of these pieces, like um, this piece, for example, this is the, um, emergency rudder and you take the kit plastic part the wooden deck that came with the ship um, expansion kit and you stick that on this side of the kit plastic part and then you build a frame that goes around it and it ends up looking like this but I don't want to do that yet because that's going to need careful thinking with painting. I'm going to paint the framework before I assemble around it. Because if I put the frame on before I paint it, that means that I'm going to have to paint it while there's wood beneath it. And I don't think my fingers are steady enough to paint all of those things without getting any on the wood. So I might have to do touch-ups because handling it with the tweezers while there's paint on it, some of the paint's going to get scratched off. But I think I'll wait until after uh, I've painted it to do that. So I'm not going to do any painting today. Um, this tiny piece, I suppose we can do that. Um, this is, yeah, scupper pipe. It's uh, there's, There were lots on the ship along the hull. That's what... Um, these little things are, can I get that on the main camera? It's a bit out of focus, but yeah, those things, they are where drainage water came out, but there was one large one up the rear, I think. I can't remember exactly where it goes on there, but uh, I will make this piece because it's larger than the other ones. It came in the upgrade kit. And we'll just apply that when we've done the rest. So that is piece 592 and 593. So the symmetrical is one on each side. Is it on this piece? Yes. There we go. There and there. Good call on that. Yeah, thank you. You've really got to think ahead when you're doing this sort of stuff because that's not in the instructions because the detail kit is a separate purchase. It's not um, made by the people who made the original ship. Um, the detail kit's made by Pontos, and the um, original kit is made by Fujimi. So their plans are separate. They don't know what each other's doing. So I've got to think this through before I make anything, make any choices that are going to cause me trouble later all right so we're doing 592 now all right i might do these two pieces and then call it a night There'll be a, a bit of a short stream, I guess, but um, this takes a lot of mental effort and concentration. 
and that uh, that's tiring. All right, let's just have a look at these instructions. So these two pieces bend up 90 degrees, so it ends up looking like this. And this piece here bends in. Where does this shape come from? Oh, that's these bits here. Oops, out of frame, sorry. All right, so let's get it on top of the plan so I can directly reference it. That'll be helpful, I think. So each of these goes up 90 degrees. Alright, and this comes up 90 degrees. Hello, Aki. So this will have to be glued here. Let's just see what else has happens first. So let's reorient it to match. So this bends out just a smidge, five degrees. That's probably more than five degrees, but that's all right. And then that comes down here. All right, before we bring that in, let's glue this other piece because we won't have access to it afterwards. And I'll get rid of the paper because it's easier to get off the mat than it is off paper. So is there any gaps in there? Yeah, that's a little bit uh, over. That's a bit more than 90 there. Bring that out a little bit. All right, that's just holding in place by spring tension now. Can I get the glue? Uh, I pushed it in. Can I get the glue on the inside so it doesn't show on the outside? There we go. This is tricky to hold in place. Yep, that's good. And another cat here. Got it. All right. I need some fresh ultra thin. There we go. How does it look on the outside? Uh, it's a bit, a bit in. Don't know if you can see that, but uh, there's a lip here. Let's see if I can squeeze it out just a little. Probably not since the glue's on now. tricky yeah that's going to be really obvious if I leave it like that all right the best way to get the glue off is to just burn it straight off the part that wasn't enough I 
Was that enough? Come on. No, can't hold it in too long because the brass can actually um, change consistency. It can get weak and it can also actually burn. I've had a really small piece of brass just burn, well, melt, I guess. Right, I'll have to do it with the scalpel. Oh, there we go. Oh, actually, that's now in, in place. All right, I'm going to leave that there. Yep, and put the glue on again. Come on, break that tension. There we go. How does the back look? Yeah, that's pretty good. It's just a little bit warped. Yep, excellent. All right, now we fold it over. And there's our finished piece with a little bit of glue. Now I think I can do this on the inside still. I'm going to have to hold it though. I can't just push it down on the, on the mat. Oh, beautiful. I love it when it goes on that easily. Turn it around so that you can all see. glue there we go now this piece I can't access from the inside so ooh, what's that oh that's wax from when I was trying to burn off the the glue Gonna get it centered properly. I think that's as good as I'm gonna get. Sorry, I'm turning it away from the camera, but I need to be able to see it for these bits all right just scrape off a bit of that excess and we have our first stanchion pipe Just to make sure it's keeping its shape. I want it to look square. There we go. When that super thin flows, it, it really flows well. Just bend the middle down there a little bit. It's bowed up a little. There we go, that looks pretty good. Now it's a pretty unremarkable piece, but where it's going, the, um, the hull on the outside, 
it has very little detail the hull is pretty bare so this is one of the few pieces that will really catch your eye on it so it's a small piece but it's important at least as far as visual goes visually historically I don't know it's just a drain pipe I guess all right and now for the reverse <coughs> I um, don't know if you noticed, but I actually have made a, a bit of a layout for, the, uh, for this stream. Rather than just having the cameras as boxes just floating in the, in the stream, I've put little rounded corners around the edges of them, and the same with the, um, the thing down the bottom where the, the chat is and the notifications. Just looks a little bit more professional, a little bit nicer. Don't need to go overboard with it because I'm not. Uh, this is not the kind of stream where you've got all sorts of crazy stuff going on. It's a fairly chill, quiet stream. I just wanted it to look a little bit more professional, so I hope that helps. I hope it looks good. I'm going to continue to tweak things, of course, as I get better at knowing what the stream needs and designing for it. Ooh, that didn't work. I didn't bend the whole... I didn't bend it at the fold. I bend the whole piece. That might make fitting it together a little trickier. Now that really doesn't want to bend at that crease. Looks better than yours does. <laughs> well, it's not a competition, my friend. But thank you. I appreciate the kind words. Okay, that's a little bit mangled, but let's see if we can bend it into a better shape. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, this is the, the trickiest glue on the piece, the trickiest joint. Uh, now that I'm holding that in place, I'm going to have to do it with my left hand. Uh, the thing's getting thick. I think that should hold that. No. Okay. Uh, new thing. Alright. Let's see what we need to do to hold this in place. I need to hold it down and in at the same time and there's nothing to really push against maybe I need to rotate this out a little bit a little more and Bend that in a little so that the springiness is working with me, not against me. Oh, 
this is tricky. Excellent, that's perfect. Nice clean join there. There you can see it there. One of the sides is bent in a little bit, but that's easy to fix. So having it glue without any overlap, I'm happy with that. It was fiddly, but it was worth it. All right, let's bend out that back piece a little and push it down this is actually probably the best way to do it hold it down like that I think that dried before I got to it There we go, that flow. How's that join look? Pretty good. And now the last glue here. a little bit off but I don't think I care enough to change it yeah that's fine this side's nice and clean though Not sure how much of that glue actually went in the cap. Well, that definitely did. Other way. Don't want lumps in my paint, so scratching off the excess glue. I might um, come back with a bit of putty later on and just fill these up a little bit so that they're square because that's in indented a little bit and a uh, little gap. Don't know how much I care. I might paint it first and see how it looks and if the gaps are too obvious I might go back and fill them. So yeah, just so that you can imagine, uh, if we go the wider angle, 
and change the focus. So this goes somewhere outside the ship like that. So that little inward at the top, this little uh, bit that goes in, that goes over the edge of the, the armor plate at the top there. So it'll look interesting. Yeah, everything's backwards. All right, so it's a shorter stream, but uh, I had a couple of technical issues, so I want to try and sort those out before I go and try and do a long stream. Uh, sorry, I haven't got a camera to... Actually, I can just turn this one up. Hi. <laughs> um... Let's see, I need to sit down and work out how I want to present my stream, thinking of running a retro game Thursday on the Xbox 360. That sounds fun. I wouldn't mind seeing that. Um, yeah, there's streaming. Hello. <laughs> streaming is uh, a whole thing in itself, in addition to whatever you're doing on the stream. So there's a lot to learn, a lot to keep in mind. So I think uh, we're all, all learning and... Uh, I know that you are a very regular streamer. I do see the notifications for you pop up uh, fairly often. I'm often a bit too busy to come by, but uh, it's uh, the more you stream, the better you get out, I think. So uh, looking forward to improving things bit by bit and hopefully attracting the audience a bit by bit. Um, but thank you for coming by tonight. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a little frustrating at times, but it was nice to have the company and I made some progress anyway. Um, actually, I'll just put out what I've done to show and that can go on my uh, the thumbnail for the YouTube upload more cat here all right that will need to go back to its previous mode back into focus all right so there's one stanchion pipe two stanchion pipes one aircraft trolley and another one Oop. these are so fiddly there we go that's going to be my uh, YouTube thumbnail anyway uh Thanks for coming by. I hope everyone uh, has a lovely day. And um, I look forward to hopefully seeing you uh, next time. Take care and good night.